Okay, hey ladies, huge fan. Who are you? Tell us. No one ever tells us that they're fan, ex except for like, maybe they've uh, maybe no. they've been like Chile. Yeah, or maybe there's like four of them. <laughs> AAA is such a great project, and I found all of your advice and stories so useful and reassuring. Thank you. You're both the perfect hosts. So relatable and easy to listen to. You can keep going. Yes. Want <laughs> this, please? I just love watching. Please uh, keep up the great work. Thank you. Now my question for the show. Thank you. Oh. Some right. background. I'm 27, but still have a great graduate university despite having attended for nearly eight years. The hoops and rituals of uni have been embarrassingly difficult for me. I have quit a long time ago, but I'm up to my eyeballs in student debt, so I need a high paying job to survive. I'm overweight and not generally in good shape. All of my friends from high school are married with houses and children. Fuck them. Sorry, I added that. I feel like it must be American. It definitely. Yeah. There's actually there are a few Americanisms in there, definitely. Yeah. I can't escape the idea that I'm way behind in life and that I've got to solve X, Y, and Z before I'm allowed to bother anyone in a bar. Further, my anarchist politics are a core part of my identity and I feel alienated from the people in non-activist circles of my life. What do you two have to say to people in my situation? Okay, so we have covered bits of this before. Yes. We have covered um, about like dating as an anarchist and be like, think outside the box. We have also covered uh, insecurities about weight in a and specific video. Yes, and neat stuff. So well, what you are in your university, but as you say, you taken a while, whatever that yeah. means. Oh, oh, but like needs, so people are not in education, employment and mm -hmm. training. Um, my spec, I know, so, so really apologies. And you know what, maybe I'll reply to this on Curious Cat and we'll literally just put three or four links for you mm -hmm. just to literally look into them. But um, the one sort of quite specific thing that I want to talk about and having now found that this is a person that is from America is that thank fuck you have found us and find this an empathetic project and want to find out, I suppose, you know, find empathy in, 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 oh, I don't even know, like, okay, to put my cards on the table, I have, as of late, have been really researching, um, I guess, Proud Boys and alt rights, and, uh, as of late, there is this new thing called, like, Bronze Age, it is um, B -A -M, B -A -M, B -A Bronze Age something, or Bronze Age, it is a thing about, like, of being obsessed with like the Roman Empire, that thing. Ish, 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 ish. Yeah, yeah. So basically, strong man, but you know, intellectual, clever, fit. Not, you know, not mm. one of those like whatever, like no lifers. No, you this know. is like Spartans. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. But obviously, extremely misogynist and white supremacist, all of that stuff, of yeah, course. Yeah. But you know, not just like, not some like fucking loser or whatever. But you know, like proud mm. men. As, as one would call them. And I can see the allure. It's like, again, it's just the whole, like, clean up your mess sort of thing. And, you know, there's order, there are hierarchies, the wife is in her place. Basically, it is... And, but you're also... You're, you're very well-read. You will know your, you know, your... Your fucking Plato from your Arist Aristotle. Your you butler know. from your... <laughs> Battle hurts. Your James Butler from your Judith Butler. <laughs> Wait, who's James Butler? Navarra Media. Oh, I was, I was like, is that celebrity? <laughs> No, it's not. Well, some, <laughs> some say, but not us. No. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. And so, so I can see the allure, especially since, again, as the left, we are so terrible at providing a similar type of... Um, Aesthetic. Um, co co cohesiveness. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Form. And also, we do come across as incredibly arrogant whenever we talk about Aesthetic. And intellectual endeavours. Like, sure. we're on the path of righteousness. Like, we need to, like, cut a bit of the... Like, it's fun being an anarchist. It's not... I mean, it's, it's also, like, the path of righteousness, obviously. But it's also fun. Like, and I feel like that's... It's like, again, the politics of production stuff. Like, we make ourselves seem quite... Well, but they would say, you know, it's, their memes are fun. Our memes are better. No. In my groups. Okay, maybe. No, but I, 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 one would argue that meme, the memetics, you know, the memes that we know as now. Cause, yeah, I, I was like, I said it, and then I'm actually not really sure why I dropped that in there. No, 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 I like but, um, uh, that. But they actually come from, you know, a very cynical and nihilistic place of 4chan and 8chan that actually didn't have anything to do with the leftist politics. Is that, you know, again, similar to gaming, and that's something that I'm interested in, is that, that we realize that that's where the popular status quo is amongst the young people and so we're now to took off that I don't think they have they haven't necessarily come from like Marxist left as such. 
Originally memes. No, no, not at all. Originally, they definitely came from 4chan. But I do think there's like real good no. left wing meme games. Meme I game. wouldn't call them not lefties. They're, they're basically... They're no, I mean, they're not... They're not libertarians. Yeah, mean. libertarians. Okay, but specifically the one thing... I want to focus on that we haven't really covered. Okay, all my friends from high school are married with house and children. I'm Fuck sorry for your friends. Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. I mean, I, you said you're 27. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Seriously. I'm very resentful because everyone's been going to weddings this year apart from me. But also, I'm like, I would really find it quite weird if all my friends are married. Like, marriage is fine. It's cool. Whatever. But. Yeah, no, we're that, not that doesn't mean anything. And also, you know, divorce happens basically. Wait yeah. for the divorcees. All of that. But I completely understand, you know, why that would put you in the same position. Also, there seems to be like, you know, you have class insecurities. Weddings are expensive, so they mm-hmm. probably were able to afford way more than you are able to. And you're you know, in debt, and you know, you're like, you're just about to finish, but like, but now you have to because you're in debt. Like, it's a fuck, it's like a cash mm-hmm. money too. It's hard. I'm part of a really good Facebook group called That's It and Wedding Shaming, where we just laugh at people's terrible weddings. And you Shoot. can join that for some, um, Catharsis. Show notes. Okay, so yeah. show notes. That, the book and yeah. the book, and also I have a really uh, excellent article on the Bronze Age. Is it movement? It might, it might be movement. Bam. And but the one thing I want to say is, I can't escape the idea that I've got to solve X, Y, and Z before I'm allowed to bother anyone in a bar. You know how much student debt I've got? Fifty-eight thousand pounds. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts off with 35, but it goes up by a few grand every year in interest. <laughs> I thought my 19 was a lot. Yeah, no, and it's, Fuck you know, me. like, the point is, I mean, we're not in the same context as you, since we're assuming you're American, but, like, if someone is judging you for having student debt or thinking you need to get that sorted before you can date... Well, again, in America, it's way harsher. Know, like, I way, know. way harsher. We don't even need to pay this debt. It's like, you're fucked. Like, you're fucked if you don't, like, you go bankrupt. So really... But like, there are lots... But my point is, there's lots of people in your position and there's lots of people that wouldn't judge you for being in that position. And lots of terrible people hooking up. Like, basically pulling people in bars. And they're terrible. So if you could be the nice guy that pulls people in bars, please do that. Because you'd be reproducing yeah. way better politics. Yeah, watch our videos on how to how to flirt without being a creep. Yeah. And all of that series. Because, like, don't leap in straight with I'm an anarchist, but generally make them see that anarchism is the way to righteousness. <laughs> yeah, with, like, we are quite righteous. We're super that. righteous. So I'm just <laughs> pretending I'm not. I'm like, I hate those people. I wish I was those people. Look, and, um, yeah, so, um... I don't know, I think from the con- from a lot of these things we've already covered, so um, with that we've just added little bits that are kind of new to this question, but other than that, look. Yeah, look at the neat one, look at the um, worried about their weight one, and look at the playlist dedicated to how to flirt. Yeah, and okay, I, and that's, that's another thing, you were talking about, you know, your shape or whatever, and this is what we talked about in previous episodes, mm. just like, I think it's incredible when people like... You know, are from the, I suppose not the stereotypically admired shape and own it and love it and, and like you know are fucking confident, and attractive, like dress well, and, dress well, well, fit in clothes. Anyway, mm. and 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 that. But it seems to me like you don't feel like you are in the right body for yourself. There are ways to solve that as such. But saying that, like you know, I have body confidence issues and feel like, like I look shit sometimes. Mariam, I'm sure does as well. Like. That that is a part of being human, and I'm yes. not trying to say that you should just magically get over not feeling good because you won't, and it's a work in progress for all of us because we are all dealing with separate and societal demons on these topics based on like supposed norms and also our own internalized norms and all this shit. And, and everyone it's else feels that way. Again, now yeah. having been to Los Angeles and seeing like all these supposedly already beautiful people still doing liposuction, section, mm-hmm. still putting stuff in their faces, and it's just like, mate, like you're gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my days. It doesn't end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, the look now is not just like being naturally beautiful. You have to buff it up in some sort of way mm-hmm. anyway. So just ugh. nothing's enough anymore. It's yeah. bullshit. I'm just gonna quick, quick, quickly check that it's all running. But it looks like, yeah, it's cute. Yep. Yeah, it's All cute. All right. Okay, so, yeah, that's that. Sorry for the short one, but we, yeah, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. 